You are listening to Power Marketing with Kevin Lee. Here's Kevin. One thing that's a bit controversial at the moment is uh, there's an ad, I think it came out uh, earlier this month that Apple has released for the iPhone that, that is really sort of, I think, pushed the pendulum so far into the privacy realm that it's a, it's a little bit silly because it doesn't take into account the fact that in order to properly serve the consumer, sometimes the app vendor or retailer must know their identity. Um, and so, you know, th- there's almost an educational element to any of these app deployments with regards to having the consumer understand in, in order to provide you the value that you really want and, and need, I need to know who you are. And uh, so, you know, the, 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 we, I, I, we've seen some app developers muck things up, right? And take things without fully disclosing, take data that they didn't fully disclose, et cetera. But the reality is, is the apps that people love most uh, know their identity. Uber has to know your identity to charge the ride to you, right? And, yes. and Amazon's app needs to know your identity if you want to reorder uh, that you know, case of popcorn. So right. um, it, it seems like the, there's almost the, the, these two camps of future apps. There's the ones where it's very clear to the consumer in order to serve you, I, I need your identity. And then there's the others who are potentially on the, the, the wrong side of the privacy fence. Yes, uh, look, I mean, it, you, it's a hot potato. Um, that the reality is that uh, you can always find out that your customer's details when a customer engages with you, okay? And until that point, uh, protection of my interest uh, potential interest based around my behavior with other parties may not may not be your right to know. Okay, so you know, and of course in Europe, where you may sense I'm from, um, given my accent uh, originally, is that um, we have this uh, very intense uh, infrastructure of GDPR um, that that provides a a wrapper around uh, how customers data is able to be utilized. Now, I think that there is, um, there is some value in protecting users' rights over the way in which they're engaging with other parties. But I think the fundamental thing is that each merchant needs to know who their customers are. And that's perfectly okay because customers don't have a problem. I mean, I go into a store today and I buy something. I don't have a problem with them knowing who I am. And if they had the systems to recognize that my card is addressed to this name and, uh, you know, is billed to this address, which they could, they could ask that, but they don't, you, know, you tap it or whatever, and you don't, that data isn't transferred uh, to the merchant at the moment. Um, they don't know, unless I'm paying with an app, who their customers are with the existing payment systems, they don't pay with cash and so on. But the consumer doesn't mind, and they, they're buying something from the merchant. I mean, that you know, they might want a warranty. They might want you know, might come back with a return. And there's all sorts of, of, there's no issue with that. The issue is, and quite rightly, I think, is protecting consumers around uh, engagement with other parties that then result in a completely unknown party approaching me for my business because of my activity elsewhere. Now, some people might say, I'm happy with that. I don't mind being offered things by others who might be of interest to me. Um, But a lot of other consumers will say, no, I don't want that. I want my privacy retained um, with the people I choose to engage with. And I think that's perfectly fine. Kevin Lee's Power Marketing is available on all your favorite podcast networks. Kevin loves helping businesses excel at marketing. Having marketing challenges? Just like Santa in the Miracle on 34th Street. If Kevin can't help you, he'll know someone who can. Find him on LinkedIn, subscribe, or follow.